Hey guys. So Behaviour have announced the new Halloween update for this year's Halloween event and it's called Haunted by Daylight. So in this video I'll be going over everything that we have seen from the trailer as well as anything Behaviour has posted on their socials about the event. On Twitter they have released a calendar for the whole event. So starting off we have the initial update released on October 11th as well as the store content and I'll cover what the store content is that's being released later in the video. The new Tome 13 Malevolence unlocks on the 12th of October. Then comes the big release of the Haunted by Daylight event on the 13th of October and it looks like the event will be running till November the 3rd. Also on the 13th of October, daily rewards will be activated which means more than likely it will be free blood points or iridescent shards and this also carries on to the 3rd of November as well. On the 19th of October, Behaviour are doing an official stream but we're not sure what's being showcased there yet. From October 27th to November 1st, there's a free weekend, so expect a massive influx of newer players on both Killer and Survivor. And the last block on the calendar is about new merch, which will be around the end of October, but we're not sure, obviously, what the merch is. It's also been announced that there'll be an in-game store sale during the event, and the dates are slightly different for each platform. So the sale dates are as follows. Switch and Epic Games is from the 18th of October to November 1st. Xbox is from the 19th of October to the 31st of October. Steam is the 19th of October to the 1st of November. And the PS4 and PS5 is from October 19th to the 2nd of November. From what we can tell in the reveal trailer, is that you have to complete objectives to collect something called Void Energy. I'm assuming completing generators and other small tasks will net you the Void Energy. Once you have this Void Energy, you have to then look for something called an Unstable Rift, which is basically like a reddish black hole type of rift, and then interact it to deposit the Void Energy. And this will grant you rewards. It seems you can get special Halloween shirts for the survivors and weapon skins for the killers. The Halloween update is getting released alongside the release of the newest tome, Tome 13 Malevolence. The new tome focuses around Ghostface and Michaela Reed, so this means there are new cosmetics for both of these characters. They of course will not be the only characters to get cosmetics this tome, as there are two free cosmetics for Yui Kimura and the artist. But what makes these outfits different is the fact that these are community created cosmetics. The artist's outfit is called Fallen Angel and was created by Aspirin DBD and the Yui outfit was created by A Felix. A Felix? I'm not sure how to say that. They're both amazing cosmetics and it's great to see that the community is cared about by the developers adding their creations to the game. The community created outfits aren't the only community items on there. There are also two community created charms on the rift, which is Have You Seen This Horse by Potato Gun 13 for killers and Blood Point Gummies by Maomi for survivors. As it's a time focused around Ghostface, he's obviously going to get some new cosmetics in the form of four new masks and a cosmetic. And we all know the community favourite will be the classic WAZAP mask from Scary Movie. It's also been confirmed that on the free track of the time, there will be 500,000 blood points to claim, which should really help getting your character prestiged in no time. Now this is the part most people are looking forward to. All of the new cosmetics, and from what we've learned in the teaser event, these cosmetics are pretty hyped up. Let's start off with the store outfits that are getting released in the store. The confirmed store outfits so far are the Blighted Wesker skin for the Mastermind, Bursting with Fury skin for the Oni. They're both killer skins, and this year Mastermind has a Blighted skin, but from what I've seen on Twitter, the community we're expecting a bit more extravagant for a blighted skin as it pretty much looks like a default skin with a bit of blight added. We've also been confirmed that it's going to be some limited time skins for the event which include the Hollywood Glamour skin for Jane Romero and the toilet paper mummy for Dwight Fairfield which I absolutely love both of these cosmetics. As they're limited time skins we're assuming they're going to be like the unlockable skins from last year's Halloween event and talking about last year's Halloween event the unlockable skins from that event for Michaela Reed, the Witching Hour cosmetic, and the Doctor, the Transplant cosmetic, are coming back this year for anybody who missed out on to unlock them again. It's also been confirmed that there will be 12 Halloween themed cosmetics to unlock for both Survivor and Killer, but we're not sure exactly on all of these cosmetics. We can see from the trailer that the Hag and Kate Denson also have new cosmetics, and to unlock them it seems like you have to complete community challenges and your own personal challenges. With this big Halloween update, there will be some quality of life changes made to the game, which focuses mainly on the Rift and Tome challenges. So the changes are, progress beyond tier 70 of the archives, and earn new deep Rift outfits, variations on new outfits exclusive to the Rift. This basically means the Rift is getting extended, and it seems like we can unlock variations or recolors of Rift exclusive outfits. Preview full outfits directly from the Rift, related outfits and charms are now positioned closer together on the Rift, allowing you to unlock outfits faster. 
So now you can see what the full outfit is meant to look like on the character instead of previously showing one cosmetic that you're chosen and the rest just being default. Also with the unlocks closer together, there should be less stress about scrambling to unlock the desired outfit if you leave the rift to very late. Select two active archive challenges simultaneously, either one for killer and one for survivor or two universal. No more heading back to the archives every time you switch roles. So this, in my opinion, is one of the biggest changes they have made, as you can now do multiple missions at once. So you can grind out all of the old archives and get a load of BP a lot quicker. Or you can just choose it for one survivor and one killer mission as they said, so you don't really have to remember to select the challenge each time. A new and improved archive layout for more seamless experience. We don't really know much about this, but we'll see it in the coming days when the update gets released. So that's everything I have for you about the Haunted by Daylight update coming to Dead by Daylight. Let me know in the comments what's got you most excited for this update. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you could tap the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.